Hi guys, it's Matt with Silverman Solutions. So today I have a little uh, website audit for you. A connection of mine, Jason Tucker, um, asked me to help him with his SEO. And uh, we're both members of the Future Pro Group, and you've heard me talk about that before. And it's a great community where people share resources. And so uh, absolutely, I, I, actually, I should say that I volunteered to help. He didn't ask, I volunteered. Um, and so uh, Jason, as you can see from his website here, is a film director. Um, he owns Fury Films. And uh, so I'm just kind of running through a basic, um, very basic SEO audit um, and giving some of my initial thoughts on some of the low-hanging fruit or the easy targets for him to hit. So just by looking at his site quickly, one of the things you notice is that there's not really that much writing. and at this point, search engines still use writing to figure out what's going on. So he's he is using this as sort of a po portfolio site to showcase his work. But when you click on these links, it just basically goes to Vimeo. And so there's no description, um, there's no nothing. And so, yeah, it does cost a little bit more to host them on your site, um, but uh, that way Google's reading the file name, um, I know that you. Ha I know that he has um, alt text set up, which is good. But there are missed opportunities to have these as sort of separate pages, and to have descriptions of them and and other pictures associated with it, and that sort of thing. So just by basically looking at the site, it's a pretty simple site. But what I would say is um, to definitely include some more writing in here and, and to build out the site more. So you look, and he has a blog. But this is basically a feed page, um, and so none of this content is indexed. None of this gets picked up by Google. And usually the point of having a blog is to, uh, one of the points of having a blog is to really help your search engine ranking. And so because this is a feed like this, it does not help his SEO at all. Um, and, and so his SEO is pretty bad at this point. Um, and then he's got an about page. Um, problem is it doesn't really mention the film company very much. It mentions him, but you know, there's not a, a, a ton about the business. Um, and I would just in general recommend, I know this is a tough one, but so when you search for Jason Tucker, that's what you get. You get athletes, you get other people who are actors. Like if you try to search for Jason Tucker film or something like that, other people come up from IMDb who who have been in movies, but not not Jason. Um, same thing for uh, if you search for Fury Films, you get a company uh, over in the UK, or you get the movie Fury, and uh, it's very hard to find anything about him. Now, listen, I get it. The reason he, he's coming to me for help is because he wants SEO help, uh, and so it's going to be hard to find him, but. I guess the recommendation that I would make, uh, you can't change your name, right? But the recommendation that I might make is to possibly change uh, the name of the business to something more unique to make it easier to find when, when people are searching for you. Right now, they can't even find you when they're searching for your uh, brand name. So one of the very first things I do is after I go to the website and I grab the URL, I plug it into Moz and I plug it into their crawler and I see what pops up on the crawl report. Um, and right now he basically has, um, we're not really gonna get into H1s, um, but that's basically HTML headings. Um, we've got missing meta descriptions. Um, and the other one that I think we should hit is, is the titles, okay? So let's take a look at what is indexed of his site. And it's not much, okay? So here's his homepage. And this right here is the title that he has. And this is what's called the meta description or the page description, okay? So he basically doesn't have a page description, so Google is just pulling this from the site. So he can do a better job here of optimizing the title, right, for for something like, um, you know, uh, director in Los Angeles or, or production company in Los Angeles or something along those lines. Uh, there's, there is more room to add in um, keywords. Yes, he's got the location correct, and that's good, but it's not working for him very much right now. Um, and so for all of his pages, you see these are his pages. 
he has an opportunity to add the location in. He has an opportunity to add more keywords in. And uh, so I would definitely recommend that. Also, once again, the page description doesn't really get indexed uh, by Google, but the page description is an opportunity for you to write, to work on your copywriting skills and to write text that is so compelling that it convinces the reader to click. Uh, and uh, it's believed that basically uh, click-through rate is important as far as ranking higher. So that would be some easy stuff that, that he can improve on. Now, I, I put together a list for him of resources, uh, and so let me just take a quick look at that. So we covered meta description, and I'm going to send him this document where he can uh, do a little further reading on how to optimize his meta descriptions. We talked about having more writing, uh, describing the projects, having more location data. Um, we talked about hosting the blog on his site. The other thing that I would say is uh, he doesn't have Google Analytics set up and it's free. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of famous quotes about what's measured gets managed or, uh, you know, if you don't set any goals, how will you know if you achieve them, right? Um, the analytics is sort of lower priority. It's, it's in the list because it's easy and it's free. It's a little lower priority because if you don't know what to do with it or you don't know how to use it, uh, then it may not be that helpful. But it can be just a good way to keep track of if you do actually have visitors coming to your site and it'll tell you where they're coming from, whether that's social media, whether it's search or uh, direct links or even from um, maybe some other sites where you have networked um, or you have links on their sites. So that sort of thing. So those are my uh, those are my tips for uh, Jason. And I hope that uh, it helps them out. And I hope that you guys learned from that, too. Um, if you would like your site uh, reviewed and you just like a quick, you know, five minute uh, audit of, you know, website and SEO and that sort of thing to get you started, uh, just shoot me an email and, and I can do that for you. So I hope, like I said, I hope you guys got a lot out of this. I hope that Jason uh, learns from this and um, yep, I'll see you guys around. Have a good one. Thanks.